establishment of transfection protocols for MRL species would help to advance the study of gene functions, developing novel vaccines, and screening new drug targets for MRL. Using this technique, we achieved the transfection of several species of MRL, and nucleofaction is a useful tool to facilitate the application of genetic manipulation in MRL parasites. The nucleofaxing of Amaria provides a reference for the transfixing of other parasites that can't be cultured in vitro and will accelerate the study of their genetic manipulation. If you try this technique for the first time, you should prepare well all the regions and the instruments before the start of transfection to avoid scramble during the experiment. The realization of this method helps people who focus on the transfixing of Amaria to see the intricate details of this experiment. To start with release of sporocysts, centrifuge 1 times 10 to the 7 sporulated oocysts in potassium dichromate solution at 2,300 times G for 5 minutes. Wash them with PBS 3 times. Resuspend the pellet with 1 milliliter of PBS and transfer the mixture to a 15 milliliter tube. Add an equal volume of 1 millimeter diameter glass beads and oscillate the oocyst suspension using a vortex mixer to release the sporocysts. Every minute, monitor the release of sporocysts by microscopy. When more